shirt I did for my grandson, Caleb. He loves, um, oof. <laughs> Weird stuff. Here's another shirt that I did for him. He tells me what he wants on it, and I put it on there using vinyl. Here's another shirt did for him. We're originally from Cleveland, Ohio, and we love the Cleveland Browns. So I put this together for them for Browns Day when they went to a restaurant. This shirt is a one I did for him for his cat that he likes, Momo. He calls him his son. He just carries him around everywhere, sleeps in a basket. He puts it on his bed. Here's a shirt I did for myself. It's called a peekaboo shirt. I took a t-shirt, cut it in strips, put a picture behind it, and put classy on the side. It came out really nice. Here's another peekaboo shirt with a photo behind it. Here's another peekaboo shirt with a scripture behind it. Here's another uh, peekaboo shirt that I made for my granddaughter. Here is a Happy Birthday America shirt, 4th of July. And happy anniversary to my daughter and son-in-law. Came out really nice. Here's my retirement shirt. I don't want to. I don't have to. You can't make me. I'm retired. <laughs> Love it. Here is a don't make me slap you with my flip-flop. I got this transfer from a company that sales transfers. I can't think of the name of it. I also got this transfer. Yep, this one from the same place. World's Greatest Grandma. Of course, that would be me. Here's another peekaboo shirt. Here's a uh, I did this, I sublimated this onto my grandson's shirt, all of his drawings that he has, and put I am the artist in vinyl. Here's another shirt I made for my oldest grandson. Well, not the oldest, but he's next to it. And um, I'll let you read it. Here is my grandson who loves crab legs. He loves them. He could eat them all day. He's like the last one at the table. <laughs> when we're having crab legs and he wanted a shirt. Here's our Fun Friday shirts. With balloons, foil. I used the foil on that one. And here's another one for my granddaughter. And here's another Fun Friday for my grandson. We wear these on Friday when we have a party. And here I am, rocking the 70s. She is me. Had a big afro. Yes, I love this picture. So I decided to make a shirt. Here's my grandson with his witty sayings, wanting me to put on a shirt. The hospital you were born in is the only building you leave without entering. That was pretty smart. <laughs> Here's the shirt I made for a friend of my daughter's. And here's another here's another one that she liked that she wanted rather. Here's one that my daughter she 
she wanted to make a fun size team because we're all like under five feet. <laughs> Here's Jack Jack with, yes, I used glitter. Came out really nice. I don't know where the shirt is, but I love that movie. Another fun size, 72. That's the year my daughter was born. She liked the fun size shirts. And our names were on the back of it. Here's my name on the back of mine. Tom and Jerry. This was very hard trying to layer it. I think I missed some parts in the mouth and the eyebrows. But we're going to get it right. I'm a Navy mom. Things my grandson loves. Here's a high heel with rhinestones, the bottom, the top, the side. I love my heels. Here's some chalk board vinyl. You can actually write on it with chalk. On this one I used jet that jet opaque vinyl. Jesus is the reason for the season. I use gold um vinyl. Prayer Warrior. Tic-tac-toe. I still have that shirt, by the way. And it's still good in good shape. Mother, doll maker, housekeeper, king's kid, scrapbooking, crochet, grandmother, embroidery, crafting, sewing, baker, great-grandmother, sublimator, t-shirts, and quilting. And, and it's probably not all I do. Straight out of Cleveland. Yep, I made this shirt when I first moved to California in 20, August of 2015. I love this shirt. This is uh, some good vinyl. I'd rather be sewing. I found this um, on my Cricut. I put love on the side of my straight legs. Got what you call them. Here's a shirt I did for a musician. He still has them, and he says they are really holding up. They're really nice. I I like to get my vinyl from stalls. Very good vinyl. Here's another shirt I did for him. All your problems will go away if you sing about it. And um, very nice. Here's another one. Warning, may spontaneously break into song. Here is um, some bowling shirts I made. We went to a bowling, uh, night bowling, and I used glow-in-the-dark vinyl. The names on the, on the front and the bowling on the back. Here's a bowling shirt I made. And um, I sublimated it on, trying to cover the whole entire shirt on the front. Here's a shirt I sublimated for my niece in Ohio. She drew this picture, and I wanted her to have it on her shirt. Here's another sublimated shirt for a friend of mine. Ebony and Cinnamon. Cinnamon was his guitars. Ebony and Cinnamon was his guitars, rather. And Jazz was his dog. Here's a shirt I did. 
Ohio girl in a California world, loving the snow-capped mountains. Yeah, I love the snow-capped mountains here in the winter. It is so beautiful. This was sublimated onto a 100% polyester shirt. Here's another shirt I did for myself. My journey from Cleveland, Ohio to Chesapeake, Virginia to Norfolk, Virginia, then to San Jacinto, California. And the next step, who knows, is a shirt I did for my brother in Mississippi. Thank you, God, for not giving up on me. Here's my Love My Leopard shirt with a little tiger. Um, I used some leopard vinyl. And I have a skirt that goes with that also. There's a shirt I did for a friend of mine. I wanted to go jogging, but Proverbs 28 1 says, The wicked run when no one is chasing them. So there's that. He <laughs> is so silly. And unleash your ultimate form. One of my grandson's favorite shirts. These guys keep me so busy. Thanks for viewing my shirts. Um, maybe can give you some ideas. And if you have grandkids, you know what they want. Thanks for watching.